You better thank God for those bullets. It's the only thing keeping you alive. Nice face. Tell me something. Five weeks ago, the feds had you surrounded at Diamondback Ridge, but you escaped. It was a miracle, huh? But you make a deal with the feds, huh? You think they're gonna waltz in here and save you? I got news for you. You killed a Chicago cop. You're not gonna leave him ever. Not till they put a needle in your arm. He might enjoy that, sir. Here, don't clean him up. Just keep asking him questions. You eat. Did he say anything in there? Did he ask for a lawyer? No, I think he's going for insanity. Sir, FBI's on the phone. All right, see if you can locate the whereabouts of Assistant State's Attorney Kowalski. Okay. All right? All right, the game's begin. Get him talking about something. It doesn't matter, OK? If we can get him started, it'll give us reason to keep the feds out. I don't think he's going to say anything. Get him talking. All right. Sir. Look, I imagine the feds, within the hour, will be here to see our friend Kuzma. I want to be privy to that conversation from in there. I need this room. Yes, sir. You didn't know? <sighs> Margaret Moynihan told me. Well, she heard it from Jerry Kovacs. Yeah. So what did he do anyway? Well, we're not sure exactly, but if you could just cast your mind back uh, 92 days ago. 92 days ago? That would be... Uh... Tuesday night, wouldn't it? Yes. Uh, see, I know that because Darlene Carmichael in accounting, she had her baby three months premature. And I was just saying to Lori and personnel how the spicy pizza we had at the shower, which was on a Tuesday night, probably induced the contractions, you know, causing the premature labor. Yes, I'm quite sure you're right. Mm -hmm. uh, about the man in the picture. Oh, yeah. Now, let me think about it. Right. Thank you, kindly. No problem. Listen, if I come up with anything, I'll give you a call. District 27. Back. In. Oh. getting rooked in, son. Look, I know what you're thinking. Ordinarily, I would agree, but these are very special circumstances. Well, they always are, but concealing evidence in a murder and investigation, I thought I'd taught you how to uphold the law. And I will. When? Later today. You've got to live by the principles you protect. Otherwise, everything caves in like an igloo during spring thaw. Look, I know what I'm doing, Dad. You just, you have to trust me. Oh, no, that's where you're wrong. I don't have to trust anyone anymore. I'm dead. But you've got to trust yourself. One step in the wrong direction and it snowballs. Next thing, you'll be lying to cover your tracks. And when cops are involved in murder, it gets even uglier. I was gunned down by one of our own on my own turf. Oh, ice cap. Do you remember? I remember. I trusted Gerard for the better part of 30 years. It wasn't easy to accept what he had become. Ray didn't kill anybody. If that's true, stay within the law. I don't have any choice. That's where you're wrong. You want to know something, Dad? I'm sorry I yelled at you. I didn't realize he was back there. All right, here we go. Break gas. No, gas break, gas break. Okay. Yeah, Frank, don't worry about it. I mean, if your kid's sick, you get sick. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, take a couple of days off, all right? Good man. Uh, uh, Mel, you want to do me a favor? Or man, Joni's kid sick. You want to send her over a teddy bear or something? Frank's kid is 14. Well, send her something. Okay. Yeah, who are you? Today, my name is uh, Constable Benton Fraser, Royal Canadian Mounted Police. I first came to Chicago on the trail of the killers. Louis! Louis, you want to have more feet? Well, it's, it's not really important, sir. What is important is that three months ago you did some renovations, uh, drywalling to be exact. Chicago PD, District 27. I wonder if it's possible for me to speak to the men who did that job. You must be joking. I can't remember three months ago. I got 18 crews out here today. It's very important, sir. All right, you give me the name of your tailors, I give you the number. <laughs> Marilyn, listen, pull out a file. Chicago PD about three months ago. Is there a problem with something? I mean, I got no calls. Nobody's complained or anything. No, it's strictly routine, sir. Do you, uh, by any chance, recognize this man? Why, is he one of the guys? Tell you the truth, I don't recognize anybody who works for me, my friend. There we go. Nice, huh? 
Here we are, Tom Harvey was the foreman, the crew he never listed. Um, a lot of times we pick up guys at the local hostels, give them a day's work, hot carriers and such. Puts a little money in their pocket, you know what I mean? Well, do you know where I could contact this Mr. Harvey? Had to let him go. And the last I remember is one of those flop houses all in diversity. And uh, he's probably long gone by now. Anyway, Marilyn will give you the address if you want. I gotta get back and get that dog out of here. Lou! You don't understand English in the office. Yeah, yeah, I heard what the man said, Ray. Yeah, you need me. Now I want to make a new deal. Here's the deal. You give me the day, I give you the rest of your life. But you made me walk, man. I don't kill you. Hi. I'm not going to come in if that's okay. Where is he? Find the door. Okay. I found the uh, rank and file must place way at the back. Thanks. Assistant State's Attorney Stella Kowalski. We still his case? Hey, is Fresh your back? No. Okay, Ray didn't do this. Ooh, yeah. Hey, let me, let me ask you something. She, she just said Ray didn't do this. Ray. Well, I thought you was Ray. Like there's only one Stanley Smith in the world? Yeah, that's true. It's a babe, though, huh? You know, the foul lady. Hey, that's what? my sister. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. Extortion. Carrying a concealed weapon. Resisting arrest. And he walks? Yeah, well, like me, he probably had no evidence. Eyewitness testimony. Mark Bills. Wiretap. This is as good as it gets. How the hell do you walk on charges like that? 